in this video i'm going to show you how to design a cloud flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody innocent and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this and if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description will be a link to download the resources that i'll be using in this video in case you want to practice and if you do and you want to send it to me you can hit me up on all my socials and i'll get back to you in due time now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so here in photoshop we are going to first set our document to do that you press ctrl n and you are going to set your size this is going to be dependent on what you're designing for we are doing this for social media so we'll go by four by four inches and then you go ahead and click on create now the first thing we're going to bring in is our background so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your background i got a couple of them for you so you can choose anyone that you want but we are going to make use of this background that i got from pinterest now once you bring it over here you're going to open it to cover the entire canvas or as to how you want it sometimes you might want to leave part of the top but this right over here works for me now this background looks a bit faded out so let's right click and rasterize the layer you press ctrl l and then you can drag the levels from the left to the right a bit you can as well do this by using saturation or vibrance either way that works for you you should be good to go and you can see it's already a bit blurred out so you don't need to really add a blur to it but if you want to do that you can go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then you can blur it out a bit if it's too much for you next up you go to file again and place embedded and then you can bring your second image in so in this case i use this particular image over here but you can use any one of them you're going to transform it down and then you open your images to cover exactly where you want it to cover you can even increase it so much like this to if you want just this part and in this case we want somewhere around here and the top part should go and now you can double click on it now you right click and you rasterize i got this background also from pinterest okay so after rasterizing you're going to press ctrl shift and then u and then you can set this to soft light now this looks way darker okay so what you can do is you can decrease the opacity right over here decrease it down until it reaches the part that you want so let's say somewhere around here i will go for 70 you can as well put in the figure if you want to now this looks a bit too dark and that means that maybe we can decrease this some more or we can adjust the levels back here to the left side a bit so that we can have something like this and then we can increase this to about 50 percent this looks fine but you don't have to worry about this you're going to touch this up later in this video now you can bring in your model so you go to file open and then you can bring in this model as a separate or in a separate document you're going to unlock the background go to windows properties and then you can take off the background with just a click by clicking on the remove background this is amazing right now if you zoom in over here you can see that a part of the earrings has been brushed off so you can select your mask over here choose your brush tool and make sure that you decrease the size to be a bit smaller like that maybe the size of the earring this should be fine now remember the rule of mask black means you are brushing off or you are getting rid of and white means you are getting or painting it back right so we are going to zoom in over here make sure our foreground is set to white and then we are going to try to paint some of the earrings back now i'm using a mouse so this is going to be a bit complicated so i won't do much of it let me just do this right over here so you just take your time now at least this should work you can then break this image into a project so you choose your move tool and then you can drag and move it right into the project that you're working on because the top of the hair here is cut off we are just going to make sure that it fits the upper part of the project so you drag it up a bit like that you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it bigger press ctrl a and then you can center a horizontal centers let's try to pin up here a bit like that now the problem is the bottom part here looks too solid and we want to get rid of that 
to do that you already have your layer mask created for you so select your layer mask choose your brush tool and this time you're going to increase the size okay increase it a bit you can use a curly brackets or the squared brackets to increase and decrease your brush size also that is what i'm using currently and you remember the rule right white means you are bringing it back black means you are getting rid of it so we turn to black and then we can brush this off nicely like that we just want the image to fade into the background and that means we can still have a chance to increase it up a bit like this now if your model's picture fits well for you you are good you don't need to do anything from here but if you want to touch it up a little bit you can go to filter then camera roll filters and then you are going to touch it up a bit for, for instance you can increase the shadows here a bit increase the texture and the clarity and then you scroll down to say the details and you can reduce the noise slightly like that and increase the sharpening and then you can click ok over here and you see the picture has been touched up a bit this is just basic touch ups you can just take your time to make this way better for you now after us right on top of this you are going to add a rectangle so you go and select your rectangle you create a rectangle make sure you create it a bit bigger because you might need to expand it the color is already black and that is what we need what we need to do next is we will right click and then we'll go to rasterize layer so this means that we can add a bit of touch to it let's go and add a layer mask so we add a layer mask to the rectangle you choose your brush tool and make sure your foreground color is black now what you're going to do is you're going to brush off the other edges of the rectangle so you brush off like that afterwards you can press ctrl t and open it up slightly like this okay so we just want the bottom part of the image to be this darker okay and i think this is too dark so you can right click and convert to smart objects right click again and go to the blend options and let's try to get a color from within here so let's go to color overlay and let's pick a color from this angle so we we are still looking for a darker color but not too dark so a dark blue something like this would be fine as compared to the, the very black color i mean this from this to that you get the idea so from here we can add our test and all the necessary things that we need to so the first one that we are going to add is called the most drink i'll leave links in the description if you want to download that now the name of this program is drip night and you can paste it right over there press ctrl t and then you can transform it and then you can center it to horizontal centers the name is very important so let's make it bigger like that once you've added this you can right click on the drip night go to blending options and then you can add a gradient overlay so we add a gradient overlay over here you go to your gradient bar and i've already added my gradient so if you want to use the same thing you can use this one so this is the first color the other one is probably like a shade of white you click ok and then you can adjust your angles to any side you want so the zero works fine for me another thing you can add to spice up this is add a bit of outer glow so for the outer glow we are going to pick the colors from the, the jacket okay so we can pick some something around here and let's decrease the size a bit we don't want to make it too much so this right here works pretty fine and then you can click on ok and we are done with that you see how simple that is the next test is going to be the location so for that you're going to use poppings medium so you select poppings and then you choose the medium and we are going to paste that test you press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely press ctrl a and then you can center it like that and you can go to file this embedded and bring in your location icon right over here transform it nicely right click on it and you go to the blending options and you can add a color to it so we're going to pick a color somewhere around here or around something from the jacket okay so somewhere around here a bit lighter and then you can click ok press ctrl t and you transform it and then you can nicely position it to this side so you can select the two press ctrl g and that is going to be the location next up 
the time so you select your test we're going to make a duplicate of the premium here bring it down and we are going to paste our test you select that you go to the toggle character and you can open it up like that we want it to be across or center stretch across the entire canvas so you press ctrl a and you make sure that it is centered or it is in the middle and lastly at the bottom we are going to add another test but this time we go back to font spring demo okay and we are going to paste our test over here now you press ctrl t and you transform it to make it bigger press ctrl a and center it let's push it up a bit and that means that we are going to push this one also up a bit let's bring this down now remember this drip night right we are going to copy the entire effect on it onto the side attraction so you hold alt you drag the fx onto the side attraction and it's going to be copied onto it but you see that the sizes are different so we have to double click on the side attraction go to the outer glow and let's decrease the size slightly like that and now we can click on okay i think this one is too big so let's just transform it slightly and center it and you can even open it up some more so let's push our drip night a bit up press ctrl t and transform it some more and then we can push this whole group also up slightly like that you probably would be asking for the date right on the top right here we can add our date so you go and select your rectangle tool you create a nice rectangle a very small one like that and then you can decrease the fill to zero percent right click and go to the blending options and you can add first off a stroke you add a stroke and then you change the color to we are using still using the colors from this one right and you can increase the size to about three or four either way that works for you and then we are going to add an auto glow as well now remember we already selected an auto glow from the color so we are going to increase the size slightly like that and we'll click ok right inside of that we are going to put our date so for the date let's go back to poppins and choose poppins medium and today's date is let's say 14 so you open it up slightly like that so it's going to be like 14th august 2025 and then you are going to select all of that open the leading slightly like this and you press ctrl t transform it i'm using 14th because 14th is the day that i'm recording this video select it all and then you can center it bring it over here make sure it's in the rectangle not falling off the rectangle it's a bit light so let's go for bold or semi bold and increase this to about 13 and then we can select the two press ctrl g to group it and make it a bit smaller like that now you can name your groups so that you don't forget it so date and this is going to be location and time so that anytime you want to go anywhere you can easily spot that on top of that you're going to add the djs and the mcs and all those people they are going to be on the left side over here you see how I'm making the arrangement very neatly very nicely so for that test we are going to still use poppins and we'll paste our test over here now don't mind me i just copied it from the original test but you get the idea right you just paste your test over here and now the few changes you can make over here is set the djs to bold and change the color to something like say yellow or orange or any color from here but you see these colors are not matching from this side you can use this color actually but let's spice it up with some different color a bit of yellow this one is okay and then we can do the same thing to the hype map change the color to a touch of i think we can go for something like this this is fine so let's do the same thing for the djs as well select that and then you paste your color you can press ctrl t and transform them slightly so that it's not too big like that and make sure that it is in alignment with the trip over here same thing you can do the same thing for the date make sure that it is aligning with a t at the end here so that your design is balanced you don't just put your djs over here or no make sure your design is well aligned so if you bring your ruler here you can see that these these ones are aligned and these ones too are aligned 
you get the idea right now after us you can bring in your logo so you go to file place embedded and we can put the logo over here so this design was done for premium 369 club located in takarde so you can put it somewhere around here again don't forget alignment but for it to stand out a bit we are going to draw a rectangle under it so you select your rectangle tool and you draw a nice rectangle around it something simple like that and then make sure it is underneath of it we double click on the layer thumbnail and we are going to pick a color so let's go for something like this or better still let's use the colors from this one okay so the yellows you click okay so that it can stand out right over there again don't forget alignment so afterwards you can select the two press ctrl g to group that and change this to logo and make sure that it is aligning nicely like that now this already looks good but you can spice it up with some colors to make it pop because why not this is a club design so right on top of our background you can add vibrance and increase the vibrance over here so you increase it so that the colors in the background will pop okay it will be very popping it increases the colors that are a bit dull on top of that we are going to add a new layer and you select your brush to make sure you pick any color that is brightening enough so i'll go for a color from this angle and make sure you increase it some more and just hit a stroke so like you left click once like that this is too big let's hit just one stroke like that and now you go to your blend mode and you are going to set this to color dodge you see what is happening at the background like that it brightens the background a bit now if you don't want this color you can press ctrl h and with the help of the hue and saturation you can easily tune it to any color at all that you want okay so you can just as you can see the background you can change it to any color at all that you want but i think the normal color is fine just that you can increase the saturation a bit i press ctrl t to transform it slightly we don't want it too much in the background so this is before and this is after so us right on top of the image let's go to file and bring in this lens flare okay now for lens flares i've talked about lens flares a lot of times and we are going to set this to screen press ctrl t and transform it to make it way bigger like way way bigger okay we don't even want the very brightening part we just want this part right over here and then we can position it somewhere around here now here is what, where the magic happens we don't want this color so you right click rasterize the layer and press ctrl u to change the hue and saturation and now you are going to tune this to match the backgrounds and the colors that you've been using so somewhere around here should be fine but you know the interesting part you don't want it to be this much so you're going to just drag it off like that right you're going to drag it off from the scene like this okay, so that it's not brightening all over the image so if you turn this one off see the changes this alone has brought to the whole design and finally let's move this one to the bottom right on top of the main background and yes just like that you create a very nice club flyer for your clubs for your clients or for any design that you're doing you can use this as a template if you want to replace the image you can easily replace it to any design of your choice twist the information here and there to give it your own look if you want to purchase this template too i'm going to leave a link in the description and i am going to give it to the first five people that check the link at a very discounted price let me know your thoughts about this design and don't forget that the resource will be in the link also if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel is so very much appreciated thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye